Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pink Holly Bush Designs and today I'm going to show you how to add a bullion rose to your smocking. I finished this little week hair gown and I just thought it would look an extra special touch would be really nice with just a bullion rose right there at the center. So the key to um, making a, the bullion stitch is using the right needle. So I have a number seven Milner's here. A Milner's, or another name for it is a straw needle, um, has the same diameter, the shaft, the entire way, including um, at the eye portion of it. Um, if you use um, your number seven darner, which you use for smocking, that eye is bigger and um, the diameter is larger than the shaft and we need it all the same size so our wraps can slip off easily so that's why I'm using the Milner's. Um, I have two strands of floss in my needle and I've knotted it. So I'm going to come up right here in the top of a pleat in the center where I want it and then I'm going to whoops skim just through again that top those top of the pleats I'm not going down into the valley I'm just skimming through the top of the pleats and where I went in this is where my stitch is going to lie um, so this is the beginning and the end of the stitch then I'm going to raise that needle up and I'm going to wrap my thread clockwise around it I'm doing eight wraps. The number of wraps is dependent on how many, um, just how long you're making that bullion. And I'm gonna put my thumb down on top of it to anchor the wraps in place so they um, aren't loose or shifting around. And I'm gonna push the needle through and I'm, again, I'm holding those wraps in place the entire time I'm pulling um, that thread through. And once I get it all the way, way through, I'm going to bring it down and around again, and then I'm going to release. I'm tug it a little bit, and there's my bullion. And then you just kind of make sure you got it the way you want it, and you go down right where you came up to anchor it. Now I'm going to tie it off on the back. And I'm tying it off right underneath it in the base of that pleat so my knot doesn't show through. Now if I were going to do another bullion in this same color, you wouldn't tie off. You would I would just um, come back up and I'll show you that. But at this point, I'm going to switch colors and I have um, this one knotted as well okay now I'm gonna come up right next to again in the top of the pleat and I'm going down in the top of the pleat over here and I'm gonna um, I want to angle the, and I'm angling it this time, I think you can see. I'm going to stick with my 10 wraps. You can see I'm getting a little bit low. I should have had a bigger piece. And... Get them all the way down there and anchor it. Pull my thread through. I want the bullion to wrap in this direction, so I'm pulling it around. And there it is. And I'm going to go right down there. Sorry, my thumb is in the way, but it really is necessary. It's more important to anchor it than to necessarily see what you're doing. Um, now I'm coming back up, part way back up on that bullion, and I'm 
going around again, coming straight back through. Shorten up my thread a little bit. So I have some to work with, and we'll do our wraps. down, anchor, pull the thread through, it's giving it up so it can't, because I want to pull it over this way, and I don't want it caught on the, um, <laughs> the rows, and what about it, let's see, there we go, just keep tugging, and you see, there it is, and then we'll pull it down. At this point, I'm going to tie off. I'd like my rows to be a little bit bigger, but I think I need to get another thread to do that. So let's knot this one. Okay, so I have a new thread, which I've knotted. And I'm coming up again a little back from the stitch I just previ previously finished. I'm going around part way skimming through the tops of the pleats. This time I'm going to do 13. The stitch is getting a little, I need the stitch to be a little bit longer because um, it's going around, it's going a farther distance. So we'll push that down, I'm holding it, pull it through. Bring my thread around and bring, pull it. And see it. And go down and anchor it. And you just add as many as you want to get um, that rose to be as thick and as big as you want. You just keep doing this and making them a little bit bigger as you go. I think we'll do two more to have kind of a nice fat rose. And then you can give it um, a few uh, lazy daisy leaves or a fly stitch leaf. And I'll show you that in a minute. So again, going around. You can see it, it's a lot of turning and manipulating, but that's okay. And 13. Let's give it one more and we'll call it quits. The last time coming up right there. I'll finish off just the side of this one. And give it 13. down, push that through, bring it around and down there, and we're going to go down to the back and tie off our rows on the back of the pleat. You will 
you'll also find a step-by-step -step guide on how to do um, the bullion stitch on my blog and I'll link to that um, in the notes below if seeing you know, step-by-step -step photos would help you you can find that there um, if you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to my channel so you um, find out about anytime we post additional ones and for more smocking resources uh, check out the blog at Pink Hollybush Designs. You'll find a smocking stitches guide and a whole series on smocking the basics. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter while you're there and receive the free Daisy Smocking Plate.